This is my, this is my, this is my day. I'm ready to take it on, come what may. Hey YouTube. So now that I'm finished my updates, I can get back to real life, what's happening now. So I want to bring you up to date on what I've been doing in Guyana for the last three years, what I've accomplished, and what I have to look forward to. So the first problem I had to deal with when I came back is electricity. Because when I arrived, the house that I used to live in had been empty for about six years, and the government electricity company, GPL, had disconnected the electricity supply. And they refused to put the electricity supply back on because I did not have proof of ownership of the house. So that's one of the first things you're going to have to deal with. You can only get electricity from the national power company, the national grid, if you have a transport, some kind of document showing that you own the property that you want electrified. Luckily, I had already started my company, Blueberry Solar, and so I simply imported solar panels, installed them on my roof, purchased batteries to store the electricity, and purchased a charge controller and an inverter. I had become my own electricity company. And so I launched Blueberry Solar and advertised. In fact, I'm still in the process of getting the word out. Uh, as a company that is geared towards getting homeowners to become energy independent. So I'm promoting energy independence. I think in this day and age, there is no real need to develop, to depend on the national grid. You can become completely independent of the electricity supply. And you can perhaps even sell power back to the national grid or to your neighbors and only use power in an emergency if you, or if you have a large uh, demand, say for a manufacturing uh, company or um, industry that you operate in. Okay, so the second company that I launched was called, is called Medical Biosciences. And with this company, I was seeking to address an outstanding problem in Guyana and in other developing countries where hospitals have not yet become computerized. So I set up Medical Biosciences as a biotech company, bioinformatics company, to computerize the hospital system in Guyana. So the idea is to digitize the medical records of all of the hospitals, starting with the Georgetown Public Hospital Corporation and moving on to all the public hospitals in Guyana. And to do that, I needed labor. I needed people who understood digital technology, digital imaging, digital data storage, and digital medical records. And to do that, I needed to train young people. So the third thing I did was I took a job at the university here in Guyana and started teaching a program, a new program in medical imaging, which I've been doing for the last three years. And now we have the labor to supply uh, this industry. So the goal is to get the Georgetown Hospital to invest in digital medical records so that patients who come back to the hospital having visited previously can immediately access their history, their patient records from the previous visit. Or if they travel abroad, they can also take or access their medical records overseas. And thirdly, if they're visitors, like tourists coming to Guyana, we'd like them to be able to access their records from abroad. Here in Guyana, if in a case of an emergency, they need to visit the hospitals. And so this is the starting point. This is the ground zero, the point at which we must begin to become compatible with the rest of the world. And so Medical Biosciences is the company that is planning to do that in Guyana. And not only in Guyana, we want to be able to do this throughout the world where digital medical records have not yet been implemented. So we're thinking, we're thinking of moving to places like Africa, places in the Caribbean, 
cities and rural uh, areas. All of the clinics and hospitals need to become digitized and connected. And Medical Biosciences is the company to do that. So that is what I've launched in the three years since I've been back. More recently, I have launched a third and a fourth company. The third company is really a startup university. It's called the Medical Imaging Institute. And this is going to provide training in medical imaging for all of the specialties. That means MRI, CT, ultrasound, uh, nuclear medicine, x-ray for Guyanese and international students. And so the plan is to build a campus locally in Guyana to stock it with all of the medical imaging modalities and to train people in a hands-on way to use the facilities. The fourth company, um, almost forgot, is a company I'm calling Zero Entropy Research Systems. And this is basically the research arm of this group of companies that I'm building, which I'm calling the Blueberry Group. So I'm going to keep you up to date and keep you posted on the developments. So to come, I will introduce you to the challenges of starting a company in Guyana and the process that you have to go through to get it registered and to get it up and running. If you want to see more content like this, click like and subscribe. And later!